Stations of the Cross Tuesday Simon Helps Jesus Matthew chapter 27 verses 27 to 32 Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put on a scarlet robe and then twisted a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand. They knelt in front of him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Then they spat on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they had mocked him, they took off the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon and forced him to carry the cross. Jesus is badly beaten. He's already fallen once and felt the sorrow of seeing his mother. His energy and spirit are consumed. But a man from another place appears, pushing forward from the crowd and pressed into service. Simon of Cyrene. I'm sure he didn't know when he woke up that morning that he'd end up as a significant player in the spectacle of an execution. Was he filled with compassion and willing to get involved? Or consumed by fear, only helping reluctantly? There's no way to know, but maybe it doesn't matter. When the time came, he did the work. He answered the call. On this day, love was shown through an action. Are you in need of help or encouragement? Don't stop asking or looking for what you need. Remember that we can't always make it on our own. We need companions, helpers and support from others. Allow others to help you. Accept when the burden becomes too much to bear. Maybe you're being called to be the help. Your back is stronger. Your experience is greater. You have something that can be of service. Try to answer that call, possibly for someone you don't even know. For whatever we do for the least of us, we do in service to Jesus. Sometimes in helping others, we have the opportunity for our own transformation. Simon's name comes from a Hebrew phrase meaning he has heard. What has Simon heard? The call. The call for all of us to help lessen the burden of others. Do we hear that call? Encountering Jesus. Imagine you are Simon of Cyrene. You are standing around watching yet another man be led to execution. Only this one's in pretty bad shape. A soldier grabs you and orders you to help the prisoner, this prisoner who can barely stand. You are told to pick up the cross. It's heavier than anything you have ever carried before. What do you feel? What do you say to the dazed man walking next to you? Does he speak to you? How does he look? Is there someone in your family, your community, your church, who is suffering physically, emotionally, or financially? Maybe this person is hungry or in need of a simple act of kindness or encouragement. What can you do to help that person persevere through tough times? How can you help that loved one? A stranger or a colleague? How can you help them carry their cross? Take these words to prayer. Men are beginning to realise that they are not individuals but persons in society. That man alone is weak and adrift. That he must seek strength in common action. 
Even in the midst of his own pain and suffering, Jesus was not thinking about himself. From the start, he has been God-centred and other-centred. He is the embodiment of the golden rule, which asks us to love God and love our neighbours. All I am and all I have, I offer, Lord, to you. I offer you these hands that you might use them in and through my daily work. I offer you these feet that you might lead them to someone who needs my help. I offer you these shoulders if you could use them to help lighten another's load. I offer you this voice that you might use it to speak up for those in need. All I am and all I have, I offer Lord to you. Amen.